rain or shine, the Diamond Darlings are ready to get to work. Our Ellie Davis caught up with the group and what they do to help the Golden Eagles soar. Whether it's leading the seventh inning stretch in song, take me out to the ball game, collecting 50-50 raffle tickets, or retrieving the bats for Southern Miss's baseball team. The University of Southern Miss's Diamond Darlings are hard at work at Pete Taylor Park. And for junior Sarah Pezos, the fan interaction is a huge part of her love for being a Diamond Darling. This place is special and not only what happens on the field but on the, off the field as well. These fans are amazing. These, Pete Taylor Park magic is true and these fans are what makes this place really special. And the upperclassmen work hard to ensure that everyone feels comfortable come game day. I've actually got a lot of people out their comfort zone when it comes to doing stuff like this. So it's just nice to be able to pull out, you know, that, that shyness, you know, put it away. and Come on, be confident. Talk people. Just be fun. A former four-year member of the Diamond Darlings and now advisor Katie Miller says the Diamond Darlings are what helped her make Mississippi feel like home. I became a part of Diamond Darlings and I can tell you that nothing has felt more like an environment or a community or a family than being a part of this organization has. I've absolutely loved every last second of it. It really has brought me to love Southern Miss and to learn to love Southern Miss. And ahead of the 2024 season, the girls are all looking forward to seeing USM's baseball head coach Christian Ostrander in his first year leading the team. I think he's going to be really good for them and these players have worked their butts off all year long so just being able to see what they do and how far we can take the season. I'm really excited to uh, watch Coach Oz this year. This is his first season as head coach and I'm just really excited to see what he can do this season and lead our baseball team into the postseason and hopefully to Omaha.